Hello everybody, this is Coach J. Today I'm going to show you the Airflow catch-up and backfill, which are essential for you to run DAG in the past. Sounds exciting? Let's get started. Let's go back to VS Code to create a new DAG called DAG with catch-up and backfill.py and open it. We firstly import every package we need Then we create a very simple DAG with a simple task using bash operator. The current time is 2021 November 10th. We set the start date of the DAG to the past, which is November 1st, and schedule it daily. In Airflow DAG, there's a parameter called catch up. By default, it is set to true. Let's set it manually anyway. Save the file and then go to the browser to refresh the page. Let's pick our DAG and show it in the tree view. Then we start the DAG. Click the refresh button and we can see that many DAG runs have been executed. Once it finishes, we hold the mouse over the DAG run from the left to the right. We can see the DAG's schedule and execution date are November 1st, November 2nd, all the way up to November 9th. Since November 10th is not fully passed, the latest DAG run is November 9th. When the time is after November 11, 12 a.m., the November 10 DAG run will be scheduled and executed. Great! The catch-up feature helped us run the DAG since the start date, November 1st. But how can we achieve this using the back view? Let's go back to the VS Code to disable the catch-up. Basically to change the catch-up parameter to false. Then we update the DAG version. We are good to go to the browser to refresh the page and select our newest DAG. Let's check the code and verify that we have turned off the catch-up. Then we start the DAG. Once it finishes, we can see that it only executed the DAG run on November 9th. That's correct, since we set false to the catch-up parameter. But we can still run the DAG in the past using the back view command. Let's go back to the VS Code terminal to find the Airflow scheduler container by Docker PS. Then we open its bash interactively in the container by command docker exec minor it bash. From the prompt, we can see that we logged in as the user Airflow and the current directory is opt Airflow. To backfill the DAG run, we need to execute the command airflow DAGs backfill with start date, end date, and the DAG ID. Let's backfill from 2021 November 1st to 2021 November 8th with our DAG ID. We click enter to execute the command. Once it finishes, we can see the log back view it's done we exit the container by the exit command then go back to the browser and refresh the page we can see DAG runs from 2021 november 1st to 2021 november 9th with back field run from november 1st to november 8th and scheduled run november 9th that's it you have learned how to run DAG in the past using catch up or back view. If you enjoyed this video, please subscribe and click the like button. If you have any questions, feel free to write in the comment section. And last but not least, which Airflow topics do you want to see in the next video? Please comment below. I will talk to you in the next one. Bye bye.